Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We'll here at Orlando Base Flight Attendant. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Today's my day off, but is it never really a day off as a flight attendant? Because we always have a lot of things to do. And on this video, I am going to show you everything that I do on my day off. It feels like work, but it's not really work. But I'm just trying to prove on this video is that a day off to just stay in bed all day and do nothing is not really possible, especially in between trips. I just got back from a red eye yesterday morning. I did a red eye turn, which I am so surprised that I did that. However, with that red eye turn, I was able to get to my 100 hours for this month because getting two hours is crazy. We're only getting awarded like 60 to 65 and crazy times around here, but blessed that I was able to get to that. And tomorrow I start a four day trip. So like I said, today is all about getting ready for the next four days. We're going uh, grocery shopping. I have to meal prep. I have to do laundry. I have to pack. At some point throughout the day, I have to sit to see if I can pick up stuff for next month because October schedules were out. I am so excited that whatever I got awarded, which wasn't a lot, I think like four trips, three trips, four trips and out of those four trips three of them is phoenix layovers long phoenix layover and i am so excited for that but first things first we need to eat so i am currently in winter park and i am going to meet with wayne you guys have met wayne before we are going to have breakfast he does go to work later today i think he has a turn it was like yo will feeling breakfast and i'm like heck yeah and <laughs> that's what we're doing so let's go to i think we're going to another broken egg cafe which i really Really like that place so let's do it leaving another broken egg cafe it is time to head over to trader joe's to get some groceries for my trip i don't really need a lot i just need a few items to go along with things that i have at home so that's what we're gonna do right now breakfast was super nice got to catch up with wayne i have not flown with him i don't remember what was the last time i flew with him i think the st louis trip was the last time me and him had flown together and we actually got a trip awarded next month so that's gonna be pretty cool we have like 37 hours in phoenix so that's very exciting anyway let's head over to trader joe's now All right, friends, leaving Trader Joe's now. It was so jam-packed. I don't know why, it's only Thursday at noon. It's probably all the people that work from home that decided to do groceries around this time of day. But right now, I am heading over to Marshall's to return something. And after that, I should be finally on my way home to do the remaining of the things that I have to do. It's been such a good morning. I feel super productive. I like the way it's going. So let's keep it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's head over to Marshall so that I can return something. And then I'll see you when we get home. officially home I am about to start meal prepping for this four day trip that I'm going on and I'm just quickly going to show you I probably won't show you the whole cooking process but I'm going to bring cheese tortellini and I am going to pair it up with this vegan kale cashew and basil pesto sauce and I'm going to split this is shredded chicken from uh, rotisserie style pulled chicken I should say from Aldi so I'm going to split this with the cheese tortellini and sauce and then I'm going to split this sweet kale chopped salad kit and half of this rotisserie style chicken I'm going to pair up with uh, this salad. So all together with these four items I should have a total of four meals for this trip and I'm also meal prepping for breakfast. You guys saw me earlier putting some hard boiled eggs there and yeah let's get to cooking.
All right, friends, I finished meal prepping and I am going with the salad and shredded chicken that I am going to split for two meals. This is a dressing. I might take a different dressing. Might not even take this one, but I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Then I have the cheese tortellini with chicken and pesto, which is lately my go-to. It's so easy and it's also so good. I packed some blackberries, got some pineapples as well. I am going to bring this avocado to eat with the salad. So I have, where is it? An avocado saver right here. So half of it I'm just gonna put right here. Might bring a couple bananas. And then for snacks so far, I only have the sour cream and onion flavor rings. They're made out of lentil and rice. And then with the chila lime steak that I've been obsessed with ever since I tried it. And then for breakfast, I have a couple hard boiled eggs. I need to get protein yogurts, so I might go to Publix later. But for now, this is it. I don't need to worry about meal prepping for the next four days. If I do run out of food, then I'll eat out. But I think with this, we should be good for the next couple days. Almost done with doing all the things that I have to, which I feel like it's been a lot. It might not seem like a lot, but it is. It is close to 3.46 p.m. and I've been out and about doing things since 9.30, I want to believe, because I know we were supposed to meet at 10 for breakfast. But anyway, I always look at my schedule when I'm packing because number one, I need to know exactly where I'm going and how many hours I'm going to be there. Is it even worth it to bring extra clothes if my layover is short and I don't have a lot to do? So this trip has four or three overnights. It's a four day trip. The first overnight is probably the longest. We have 15 hours. We get in at 1 p.m. And then the next morning we report at 4.55 a.m. So I don't anticipate doing a lot for that day. I need workout clothes and maybe if I go out for a walk or something. So that's two outfits right there. On the second day, like I said, we report at 4.55 and we're done by 5.30. Our layover is 12 hours. So I'm probably only going to work out. <laughs> Might not even do much because the next morning my report is at 6.25 a.m. On the third day, the layover is 12 hours and 35 minutes. For that one, I am in the middle of nowhere. So I know for sure I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to be a slam clicker on that overnight. So really, I just need to pack for three gym outfits and then probably like two outfits to walk around, underwear, socks, and all that, and then something to sleep, and obviously the extra uniform because we're going to be working for four days. And then on the fourth day, actually, we get home at 10.04 a.m. So it's going to be just one flight from that city to Orlando, and then we're done with this trip. So right now, I'm going to get my bag, and then I'm gonna show you how I pack. Let's do a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna use my chair to put my luggage. I need to get a luggage rack. And I've been meaning to get one for the longest time, but I have not. It is a lot later since the last time you and I spoke and I actually finished packing most of it. I just have to put my underwear over here and then my toiletry bag and that's pretty much it. I have clothes here for four days. I also have my backpack with all my essentials and my required duty items and all I have left is really steam my uniform and I'm ready for this four day trip. I wanted to come on here and give you a few updates because even though you're not seeing the time gap in between vlogs, I have not picked up the camera in like two and a half weeks. I successfully completed my recurrent training, which is the annual certification to fly as a flight attendant. When you start working as a flight attendant, you go through what is called initial training. Usually that range from a three and a half, four to five, six, or even seven weeks, depending on the airline that you work for. And after you successfully complete that, you go on the line every year or every 18 months, depending on which airline you work for. Again, you go to what is called recurring training. Some people call it ground school. And usually you go in for a day. I know other airlines you go for two days, but for us, it's just every 12 months. So mine is always in August. And I successfully completed a recurrent. I was able to attend recurrent with classmates. So that made it 10 times better. And I am just so happy to be here. Can't believe 
believe that I am on year four at the Green Airline. We also got a pay raise, which was much needed. And I finally got my three year pin and my anniversary certificate. I actually had one of the supervisors, or I should say a supervisor surprised me at a gate when I was getting back from a turn. So that was very nice to see. And also I went on two vacations this month. I went to LA with friends and I went to Disneyland. I got to hang out and it was pretty cool, pretty exciting. And then I came back and my friends continue on with their vacation. But shortly after that, I went on a five day cruise to the Bahamas and I had such a wonderful time. The cruise was so good and I had such a great time that I don't have any photos of myself in this cruise. I think the only one we have was the one that we took to the professional photos they take, which I don't even think we're supposed to do that. But obviously I didn't share it anywhere anyways. And besides that, I'm just getting ready to work all these hours the rest of the month. I have to say I need to slow down with my obsession of trying to get these hours. We're not getting more than 65 hours awarded every month. We're currently going through a lot of things here at the airline and I know a lot of you guys suggest that I should go somewhere else if you're not happy. I don't need to go somewhere else. It's not about being happy. Um, it's just that us flight attendants deserve to make a livable wage and corporate greed is real. All airlines out there are currently going through and if you don't believe me, check the news because everybody is trying to get better contracts. We're trying to get better pay. So we'll see. I am hoping that things get better for this month. I hustle these hours, but also I took so much of my time off to be able to pick up hours that I feel like it's not fair that I'm using my free time to, I'm going to use this term, scramble for hours. And I could use that time to actually rest or do other things. And so I'm hoping that that change is super hopeful for that. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I can get into details about. That's what I have for you. It is time to finish up and get ready to go on this 40 trip tomorrow, which you are going to see next week. If you did enjoy hanging out with me all day, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, I'll see you next time for another adventure. Take care.